it stinks. Is it? Yeah. Like poop? Mm, like rotten eggs. Do you need to go potty? I was going to do a Gone Roger, but, Bru but Kevin is taking over Bruce and cuddling with Bruce. I'll go see what's in the boxes, I guess. Even though I just fell on the mud, there's ice outside. It sucks. The boys got chewed up stuff, haven't had a chance to clean up because packages just showed up. But we got like 11 freaking boxes of uh, pre-release stuff. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we've got in here. Anything cool? I'll see if Kevin shows up. I'll try to do this one-handed. Ooh, I think that's a pre-release kit. Did we get a pre-release kit? I'm sore and lazy. I can't carry. Whoa. You're getting the bird's eye view. I almost killed Kevin. Let's see. I thought there was only supposed to be 15. I don't, they always change these. They what are you doing, a TikTok or a Gone I'm Roger? I'm doing a Gone Roger. Oh, what's up? Why did you think I started out? Oh, oh I hurt. It's 15. Yeah, there's only the one, right? What? So there's only the one, right? One what? Pre-release kit. There's not know. like two different ones or three different ones. Looks just like the one. Ooh. Yeah, we're both dead. It is so cold outside. Zach fell and tried to kill himself. I did. Look now he's got a broken arm. arm. I don't think people want to see that. Yes. And I'm just breathing in the air outside. Well, it's cold and die. humid. I'm going to die from carrying I can't this do this one-handed. I'll do it. What are you doing? Dude, what are you I trying to gonna, do? I was just going to show off Man, the pre-release kit. this video. So, I don't care. I hurt right now. I pulled a muscle in my back. Okay, so these aren't going to be special then if they're going to go to purple Lame. every... Lame. That's cool. I'm, I'm okay with that though because we had years yeah. and years and years of the different color ones. Yeah, I thought they were going to be shiny. They're not even shiny. Right. So, what'd you get in there? Ooh, my first pre-release kit. That's cool. What are you going to do? Cool. You're going to do this for League? So, I'll do this one for League. Everybody can see my League. Power, double power, so. Is I always got to open the first yeah, pack, that's actually. Pretty well, that's pretty, well, it's seven mana. What? You, what? Can you help? Sure, show me what the cards are. I was just going to take a look to see what the oh, cards like, are. Oh, like Terramorph Expanse yeah, and Involving Wild? Wow. wow. Shouldered. There you go. Look at the, the, the mist coming off of my... Oh, <laughs> hands. And... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I saw you even looked at the spoilers. No, I a little bit. Them. I don't know what any of the cards do. So, whatever. Wait a second. So, this Wait, is a reprint. Target 1 1 could use plus 2 plus 1 only if why one is it not focusing. Poison. Cool. Yeah. And so then the land. Oh, that is interesting. I don't like that. Oh, well. Oh, uh, cool. What else is in some of these? Well, we got all the Phyrexian. Okay, bundles. Bundles didn't come in. They don't so, come until pre-release? Did no, Commander no, no, decks no, no, come? No, 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 Not pre-release. Bundles are just delayed because it's typical Wizards. Wizards. Oh, yay. So, not, I'm not talking about complete bundles. I'm talking about bundle bundles. So, unfortunately, they didn't come in. Uh, oh. Yeah, just servers let me know. They, they don't have them. But, yeah, we'll get this off to everyone that uh, pre-ordered. This is actually our lowest pre-order in years. This was pretty pathetic. Pre-release sign of was pre-order. And too. you know what the number one comment i got from people was was First. they're just gonna wait until uh it gets fire sold on amazon yeah so there you go wizards that's your uh your new your new strategy everyone has figured out the game and so now no one wants to pre-order no one wants point? to do because they know it's just gonna get it's not that but distributors usually lower their cost after pre-releases too so like the highest it used to be that pre-release was the cheapest yeah so when we used to order things that was such a huge incentive getting on the pre-orders yeah. it would be usually about five percent five to seven percent i would say cheaper than when we what we is considered going to open orders but now it's more expensive because distributors have realized they also have to compete with the amazon dumps and they just want to get rid of so they'll do their pre-orders they'll be okay we'll sell what we can at pre-orders, then let's just dump everything. And I'm, that is a trend I'm starting to see with distributors. There's a couple of distributors in particular that used to carry like inventory of Magic products after the pre-order window, and now they don't. There's I won't name names here, but this is a large distributor that I know many people use. They don't even keep standard product in stock What's anymore. The point? So they just fire sell it all through and then move on to the next product. That is a horrible sign for Magic the Gathering. I was pretty... Um, I need to do a rant video about this. I promised everyone I would. I was pretty uh, upset reading through Phyrexia, you know, what's this other set? March of the Machines. Uh -huh. March of the Machi Machines, uh, the supplemental set that's coming out three weeks. Three freaking weeks. It comes after, out in three. Three weeks after March of the Machines is March of the Machines Aftermath. 
So the paint won't even dry on your cards by the time you open them, and then they're already on to something else. And it's another one of these little, like, little subtle price increases without price increase because they're making it wonky because it's making you kind of guess how much cards should be worth, kind of like how Baller's Gate was, and no one was like, well, what should this be priced at? This is what Wizard wants to be priced at. But then they realize oh, only 18 packs per set booster, only uh, 24 packs per draft booster. They're doing that again with March of the Machines Aftermath, where the booster boxes, boosters have 24 packs in them. They're not draftable. The distributors are still calling them draft boosters, but they only have five cards in them. And then collectors <laughs> only have six cards in them, but still have 12 packs. And it's just, like, they're just keeping people wanting? guessing. What's the they're, point? Yeah, it, this is just shady. Uh, like, Wizards is absolutely despicable right I'm now with their business with practice, it. how they're doing, because everything... Well, I've always complained that Wizards has never been very transparent with things. They, 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 you know, back when they used to hide data for tournament results, um, they've always tried to hide pricing with stuff, with getting rid of the MSRP and stuff. But this is even shady to a whole nother level of now putting these, like, Oh, we're gonna put six cards in this one, five cards in this one. We're all, all, and then the bundles are gonna have eight packs, but they're not gonna be set. They're not gonna be draft. They're gonna be this new thing. So we're gonna call them bundles. They're gonna be the same. They look like they're the same size as bundles, but obviously eight packs that only have six, five cards in them would be smaller in size than you know eight packs that have. It's just they're just trying to keep people guessing and not knowing what you're getting out of stuff, and it's just shady business practice at that point uh, to try to just I don't know confuse people. And so people can't try to figure out like what should these be priced at? Is this a good deal or not? But to me, this is just another. I'm thinking that since these things are only have five cards or six cards in collectors, collectors are going to be only two uncommons and four rares. You could get up to six rares or mythics in the set if there is mythics. It, it didn't specify that. It just looks like there's rares and like uncommons in the set. It's just a wonky set that I have no clue. Uh, what it's going to contain. Apparently, it's going to have a billion different versions because someone was able to crawl the data for it. And then you see like showcase, etched foil. So it's just Sudoku. a whole list of like things you can get. But the whole thing is when you make everything special, nothing becomes special. Another rant you don't need to do is about Shouldered. Yeah. Where the Shouldered Phyrexian typecast card uh -huh. is now by far the cheapest version. It's just like. I just want to go back to the good old days where everyone got hyped for a set that came out where you got yeah. pre-release pack, draft boosters, and bundles. That was it. Yeah. They called the fat packs back in the day. And exactly. it was like, here's, here's the product. This is enough for everyone. Enjoy this set for three to four months until the next thing comes out. Oh, we'll release Commander once a year. Maybe we'll do a master set every two years. And this has just got out of freaking control where nobody, nobody can keep up with this crap. And it's just, I, I think everyone's exhausted. I'm exhausted as a content creator. I, I want to do top just... 10 list, but it's like, wow. Like, I didn't even feel like I got experience, you know, Dominator Remastered by the time this comes out. Uh, I know and what it's you just, mean. I don't know. It's just so... As a store owner, too, I had a new player come in. Well, can I not play this card in... Um, I was like, a card he got out of the set booster. He thought he could play it in standard yeah. or, or something. And then he's, it, I'm like... Remember with all the commander cards, all the random crap yeah, everywhere. It's, it's just gone too brothers chaotic. Were, brothers were it's not the, even the fun. artifacts. They're like, oh, I can't use this in standard, but I got it out of a draft booster. And it's just, I, it's, it is so I confusing. So wizards do better. I, they just don't care. It's going to collapse. It's going to be, I, I'm just worried. It is turning into the 90s Sports card cards. market. Yep. It's That's all yep. it's going to be. Yeah, there's that's too much. I joked about it there's a couple too years many. ago. The pretty soon we're going to have to get, you know, people's hair follicles in yeah. set packs to make it even more special because that's they started joking about that because i started doing with, with baseball cards you start putting a piece of the chip bat and you know crap like that in there and then it's like wow okay foils were the special thing now they're worth a lot of times foils is the cheapest version of the card they still haven't like 100 percent fixed their quality control because some of their printers are still god awful oh yeah of what they do some half the better, promos are horrible but it's i don't know um, i am just exhausted and this was just a huge letdown with the amount of pre-orders because pre-orders are typically one of the things that I'm able to do to, put, to set me aside from like the Ebays and the, the TCU players and the Amazons and things like that. And it just seems like our competitive edge just continues to get chipped at, chipped at, chipped at, you know, week after week, get month after month with the ability to sell magic product. So Well, when there's nowhere left for them to play, what's Wizards gonna I know, sell to? And go play on Amazon. Exactly. So.
That's oh, a- well. Are we going to open product or not? I thought we were going to do... Look, Phyrexia came in. No, oh, oh, we'll here. get to... Maybe we'll showcase more of this, but we need to get All this right. shipped out. Because it kind of came in late today anyway, and we're running behind. Yeah. So there's my rant for today. Apologize for being bitter uh, here, but this is just... This is just... Ugh. I hear you. Every time I think that I've, like, reached a level of, like, okay... I mean, I mean, I try to keep a level head because everyone just like rage quits magic over kind of what I consider stupid things because it still is the best game, but I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's tough you. being a, a store owner and a player at the same time and, and you know, you're getting like kind of double whammy kicked in the nuts with uh, on both sides of the equation. Yep. Like huh. Anyway, let's Alrighty. get this done, Chloe. Okay, let's get to work. Good. All right. Thanks for watching.